And now we've brought in Tara Coleman, an attorney here in Cleveland, to help break this all down for us. Tara, welcome. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, we absolutely. certainly appreciate it. So as Isabel mentioned, of the 24, 23 are settled, but there is still one civil case that is pending, and that is likely to not begin until next year. Yeah. But what struck me as interesting is he has now, Deshaun, publicly apologized twice, first mm -hmm. last Friday and then today. Mm -hmm. If you're the alleged victim here, it feels like he's armed that lawyer and victim with potential ammunition. What do you think happens with this now? Jay, you're absolutely right. We still have a pending civil suit. Right. So anything Deshaun Watson says, between now and determination of that civil suit can be ammunition for the other side and can be used in that civil suit. Now, I'll be honest, if I'm Deshaun Watson's attorney, I most likely wrote those apologies mm -hmm. and I was careful to uh, get out there what I think would not be harmful to my defense, right. okay? Um, so I think that he was very careful probably in those, in those apologies, but you're absolutely right, there's a risk there. Absolutely. And, and you mentioned it there, you know, being so careful with the verbiage. We, met, we noticed, you know, in his apology today, some, some interesting terminology there. He says he continues to stand on his innocence. When asked, you know, are we going to hear your side of the story one day, he even replied, one day we will. So again, from your perspective, maybe if you're his lawyer, just how meticulous does he need to be with his words and his actions now as the spotlight's on him? He has to be very meticulous. And that verbiage, you have to remember, in case that last case doesn't settle. If that goes to trial, you're putting messages out there to a potential jury pool, okay? And so you're gonna want uh, your client to be out there in the best light that they possibly can be. And so he's gonna be very meticulous in, in any public statements he's making right now. Yeah, when you make an apology, it does imply that right. you have offended someone. You have That's aggrieved right. someone. And in this case, obviously, I know he stands on his innocence, but I'm not sure how both can be true. I'm sorry, but I'm innocent. And I think and that's right. trying to play that fine line between right. I want the jury to be sympathetic here, but, uh, you know, I have to just play both sides, kind of. Tara, from a football standpoint, okay. we have closure. This is over. Yep. From a legal standpoint, where do we go from here? From What's a legal standpoint, uh, that one pending case is out there, so we'll see what happens with that. But as far as this goes with uh, Sue Robinson's opinion, this settlement, I think we're done. I think we have finality here, and we can see uh, that Deshaun Watson will likely play those last uh, six games or so. Yeah. I think everybody involved, the league, the NFLPA, Deshaun Watson, the Browns, fans, yeah. all exhaled today because it does now feel like our long nightmare is over. Like we I can think now that's turn right, the page Jay. to playing football. I think that's right. All right, Tara, thank you. Thank we, you. We appreciate it. Yeah.